Hello, I'm Carl Oliver Kiriaku. I'm the e-commerce manager here at Warlord Games, and these are my German Grenadiers. Um, so yeah, I started German Grenadiers. Um, so the UK went into lockdown in March, um, as, as everybody will remember. I did what most hobbyists did, which was grab myself 2,000 points of a new army to get started and get painting. Um, particularly fun project for me. Um, I painted it all within a two week period, some of it on the live stream on the Warlord Games uh, Twitch channel. Uh, and yeah, it just represented a really fun, interesting army for me that I could use on the Eastern and Western Front. Uh, so the army is comprised of um, an officer, naturally, through all the extra ancillary bits, medics, weapons teams and stuff. But I've kept the rifle squads quite simple, uh, basing the loaders with the LMG gunners in, in a set of two in each infantry squad. There's also a squad of assault rifle guys in there as well for close combat, sort of house to house work, um, and a Puma and a Hanamag for transports. Um, there's also an Opal Blitz with a pintle mounted light machine gun, MG34, uh, and a Panzer IV Wirbelwind uh, anti air tank just to. Um, sort of chew up enemy infantry, which uh, is the thing that wins games in bolt action. So as I mentioned, um, I painted the whole army in a, in a two week period. So for, you know, what was it, about 60 infantry models, um, managed to kit bash myself a, a Panzer Shrek team out of two guys with a pile of Panzer Fausts and uh, light mortar spotters and medium mortar spotters and, and all the other cool bits. But yeah, I managed to get it done in a two week period. Um, for me, I'm, I know a lot of people that play bolt action are historically focused. For me, that's only 25% of the appeal. The other 75% is, is the prestige of having a fully painted army on the table to play with my friends and, and have a drink with. So um, it was a very quick and against the grain paint scheme of a uniform gray on everything. Um, uniform grey, then a strong tone wash on all the infantry. Then I picked in all the camo with German camouflage beige and various greens and browns. Um, and then I airbrushed the vehicles, um, only doing brushwork on the crew and the um, and the tyres. So that was a very quick and efficient way for me to get a lot of models on the table that um, I think look quite reasonably well. <laughs> 